Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake 2. We are back with episode 6 of Alan Wake. We are definitely playing this to the end now. I can confirm that we are definitely playing this to the end. The idea was to try and get this done before COG free weekend, but uh, week, sorry, but uh, we are going to struggle with that. So I think we'll just make it as part of the Corner on Games 3 weekend uh, week. I keep saying weekends. I'm so used to it being a weekend, but this year... Um, the Corner on Games uh, day lands on the Tuesday, the second day of April. So, yeah, it's not a weekend. I forgot we had a leap year this year, so we jumped over the Monday. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to continue with Alan Wake 2 now. Uh, yeah, so um, Corner on Games 3 week starts on the 1st of April, Monday, the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, <laughs> where um, I will be revealing a little bit more in the next week or so about what's coming up on the COG free weekend, uh, week. <laughs> Week. I need to get used to that, COG Free Week, and it will run for seven days, by the way. And Alan Wake 2 will be two episodes during the COG Free uh, Week because we're doing other stuff as well as part of that. And then the following week, Alan Wake 2 will come back as like four days a week at least. So yeah, that's that's what's happening. Um, so we're going to resume game here. Um, if you remember, um, we, we killed Nightingale. Um, very, very intense episode yesterday. Um, I'm sure you remember it. I had to go make a cup of tea for five minutes just to calm the nerves. Pause the video. I, didn't, I haven't done that in a long time. Pause the video and came back to it. But yeah, we're going to resume here. See if Alan Wake has anything to say. Ah yes, we love the NSYNC coffee drinking. And she shouldn't be wearing that jumper in March. Assuming this is March. Probably isn't, but yeah. Come on, Alan. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, oh. it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you I... write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying... To remember it's 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 a crazy jumble like a like a nightmare I, it doesn't it doesn't make sense oh fantastic he doesn't know either what is going on I remember What? What the hell is going on? <laughs> it's like you turned into Doctor Who all of a sudden. Is this 2010? Oh wow. So now we're playing as Alan Wake. Love that. Ugh, late night, initiation one. Oh, Is I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Oh! 
Good to see you, Alan. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Come on, come on, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, man. And between it's Mr. So Door. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an ex. Do we have a little bit better dialogue audio, please? Like, dialogue volume needs to go up. Fighting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, an artificial uh, thought experiment? A, a, not a real. Story, a <laughs> postmodern detective story? Wait. A fantasy? This is Fictional? Right. I haven't written anything. <laughs> anything along those lines? He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. <laughs> that is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh. Wow. I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there. Exactly what they want him to do. And he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. He's more confused than he is. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you Don't want to be returning to those woods. Thank you very much. My entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narrative. Expecting to disappear once this scene ends. Oh dear. Um. What? Hello. Hi. Um. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. You think? I needed to get home. To Alice. To Alice. What the hell was that interview? Good Some question. kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. They've already had one, to be honest. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. 655 Neighbor of the Beast. What? Oh, I've got a little chiller there. Little refrigerator.
I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? The interpretation of many worlds, Dr. Casper Darling. Okay. Um, is it 739 by any chance? No? 655 was that on the wall? What was that on the wall earlier? Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. 665, not 655. Is it 665 by any chance? <laughs> nope. Oh wow, that was so difficult. Uh, there was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Good question. Oh, this seems like it'll be a little bit more of a chill episode, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> In between Mr. Door. Again. Interesting, Mr. Door is the name, and we've been through a lot of doors. Don't know if that's a connection. Just analysing stuff. Um. There was something in the studio with me. Oh, no. I had to get out. What was in the studio? I've got no ammo. Like, how is he expecting me to do anything here? Find a way out of the talk studio. Oh dear. This is the ritual to lead you all. Ah. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about writing here for countless days. Oh, what a lovely place to write this would be. Oh, look at that. Smooth as anything, because there's nothing to draw in this place. Initiation a blackboard for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. Hmm. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. Scratch? I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Uh, what? Waking up is a nightmare. Is that the first bit? At the talk show, I thought I was home in New York, but none of it had felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing effect, so that's going to be like the witch's hut, pretty much. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. Right. With the story I wrote, I projected myself to look out for a way to escape. I tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything door I had, had to said write more. felt true. Was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? Ah, okay. I understand a bit more now. Makes sense. So his book Initiation was the one he wrote to escape because his initial book was the one that... Um, Put him into the nightmare pretty much. That's what I'm gathering from that. He's trying to get out of the dark place. He thought it was in New York, but he's not. What? Get back to writing? Oh, okay. What about the TV? <laughs> is this honestly what we've got? I mean, it is 2010, I guess. We think.
I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, hmm. like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. Oh god, I'm feeling sick This now. room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Interesting. to the famous detective in the film series. And of course we have Alan Wake here. The best selling writer, the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? <laughs> I know it's a an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? No. <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because. On more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Oh, is this going to be what we just saw? This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Oh, <gasps> not again. <laughs> Here we go again. Jeez. We really need to get out of this talk studio, don't we? I'm gonna have to input the code again. <laughs> oh, come on. Wait, what? Was it 655? What? You serious? Wait, is it seven? It's not seven three nine, is it? That'd be so weird. Oh, that was seven three nine. <laughs> uh, back to this room then. Let's see what it is. Oh my god, that freaked me out. What the hell are you doing, you moron? 
Five, six, five, okay. <laughs> Why did he barge into that? It just freaked me out. Okay, not sure why the code's changed, but there you go. It's not like it's difficult to get through, you just go through all of them, but I can't be bothered with that. Okay, stop running. Yeah, it seems like the smart thing to do. Now, that's where we were last time. <laughs> And then we got punted back onto the talk show. Alright, we got put into our writer's room, that is. Oh, we actually made it through this time. Hello? Hello? Really sure why. Who's that? Janna. Ah, Lord Aid. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> Good to see you. And you are? Oh. I'm looking for the exit. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. Just in English, the please. will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you. No! But you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what? Sorry, who are you? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor? You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. <laughs> okay. What's in the basement? What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up go, eh, man. English. The man, but the man with the tool makes two, Tom. Egony. <laughs> and a man with the tool can build his own exit. Is it a shoebox? In the basement where you left it. And a shoebox, <laughs> okay. Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thanks. Not really sure what I'm taking, but all right. Find it. Find what was left in the talk show basement. Well, he could have just told us. That would be really useful. What's this? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> the map can be accessed. Or I could just press map. Like that. That'd be useful. Uh, janitor's office, conversation, new choices. Oh, okay. Let's talk to this weirdo again. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. Dead stop but don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when you I got that the off. Floor you know those look people. Into the puddle. You know those people who have home is where the heart is. Soak your troubles away in the in the bath. Those people are cringe -ass. Water is the memory of the world. <laughs> Sorry. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I Just like this guy's cringe -ass. Would get me out of here. Where am I going? Where's the basement? Basement shortcut through here. Bro. Bro, can you move your stupid bin, please? Right, where am I going? Basement shortcut, not useful. To basement over here, apparently down here. Yeah. 
Can I go this way? That's a yes. Basement. Love a good basement. Who doesn't love a basement? <laughs> What's that? Why is this so dark? God, that's freaky. <laughs> Down to the basement, my favourite place ever. That guy was a weirdo. <laughs> Another floor plan. Why is that guy so close? He's through there. What? What a flashlight? No. I've literally got nothing, have I? An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? This. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Okay. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use, use the angel lamp to move lights and create a way forward. Huh? Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Wow, okay. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. That's interesting. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again, the glow in the lamp. Love out, that. Shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Is this the exit? Please let, tell me this is the exit. That doesn't look promising. Back and use this. Oh, what did I just do? Not really sure what I just did. Oh, did I create that staircase? Oh yeah, nice easy quick exit. I needed to find another way out. Okay. It's like a maze trying to get out of here. Do anything? I've got a feeling this isn't doing anything. What? Can I go down there? What the actual? I'm so confused. Is this... <sighs> Whoa! Okay. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The <laughs> oh my god. I lost it. But I have the lamp now. Please the don't tell me we're gonna see him again. From. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. 
I dive to the bottom to find the answer to the map and the key. The compass has combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake that's not a lake. End of par. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Not listen to that. Damn, find a way out of this talk studio. Can we get out of here the best? Oh, but we're out. What the? The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. What the actual? Hello? Uh, go into it, you moron. Hello? Hello, Wake. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. No? Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The subway. You need to go there. Ah. Oh. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got you now. We've been working. Great. I, I'm losing you. Hello? Oh. Hello? Subway pass. And I've got a feeling we're going to get chased which I can't wait for it's gonna be such a laugh oh god Casey an S station 2 enter Caldera the station the man had said Caldera Street station I had to go there oh there's a map here Where is that? Over here. That's not far. Oh god. I like this. Where am I going? It's over there, isn't it? What's that? This is awfully creepy. So there's Caldera Street. Oh god. Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. Oh. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. So... Ah... Uh. Fuck. Hello. Okay, don't mind me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. I wanted to keep it that way. There's a light here. There's a shadow there. Nice. 
the light that I can use. Oh god. Where am I going for this light? Is this the light? So it's plausible. How do I... Where am I going to charge this up? Use light to get inside Caldera Station. How am I meant to find that light? What the heck? I have literally no light. What about up here? I'm so confused, how do I... Yeah, I'm not going that way. Not a chance. So there's light over there. I just want to see what happens. I can't really charge it though, can I? Unless I go in this way. It could not be opened on this side. Oh, for God's sake. How do I... Do I go in here? No. But through here? So. Toolbox worth meds. Nice, our first item. No, it was locked from the other side. I can't get through. How am I meant to get light to charge it? I am so confused. Down here, maybe? Seems to be light down here. There was a light at the end of the alley. Ah, ahead. okay. But how? Oh, lovely. A shadow guy. My me. It's fine. It's all good. My me. There we go. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Casey? Wow. Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? 
There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? Okay. I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would so he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Oh god. Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. Ah! Uh. I haven't got a gun. What am I meant to do? What? I'm a just hope. Damn it. God. Hello. I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here. Loop by loop. Wow. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Really? Oh dear. Can I pick up this now? A flashlight, hell yeah. Oh, a gun. Yeah, I love that. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt nice. like I was assuming the role of the detective. Work. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, lest the shadows block my way. Oh, God. No. Uh. I'm not sure I was meant to do that, but <laughs> I've done it anyway. Oh god, oh god, oh I did not see that. Fuck! What the? Yeah. Can I get past? The darkness protected us. Bye. You are lost. No. Can't get through that. You don't have. You are my storm. Oh, for God's sake! Well, that's that then. You are lost. The shadows faded out until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Really? What about my one HP that I have? Uh, I'm just gonna have to. Oh, it's not done much. That's not useful. Oh, nice. We love that. Nice, nice, nice. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. Yeah, let's go. Oh, God. Did not see that. Did not see that. I was so close. Where are we going? I'm so lost. Oh my god! Jesus. Oh. Shit, 
shit, shit! Reload. Okay. Is he dead? Is that still blocked? Because it's going to be so annoying. Is that... I am so confused. This is the edge of the map as well, isn't it? Must be. Yeah. The city was not real. Hmm. I was limited to the confines of the dream. Yeah. I'm aware. Hmm. Well, mega confused. <laughs> What's that? Can I kill him? No. Apparently not. Might need to Google this. This is getting annoying. But I don't I really don't wanna. It could not be opened on this side. Yeah, I'm aware. What's that say? Straight up. Interesting. It says straight up. was locked from the other side. Really? Didn't get that. Um, I'm guessing this light, light shift and active, yeah. Shift active. Don't know where I'm going to find light then. Like, there's that obviously. I need to go down there, but it's so confusing. I'm not sure where I'm meant to go. That one down there is gone, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I'm going to try and figure out where I'm going to get light for the next one. That's been 50 minutes, so it's been way too, way too long. I might need to Google this if I can't figure it out. I'm going to try and do a little bit off camera and see if I can figure out the way and then I'll continue with the next episode. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please that like button. If you, can, if you haven't already, when you keep it out, all the videos on my channel, please subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow at 7pm for the next episode of Alan Wake 2. So yeah, see you then. See you later.